Okay, example three. 8x minus 4y equals 16, 2x minus y equals 4. Just for, um, I'm just going to do this with the substitution instead of elimination. It doesn't matter how you do it. But um, if I do substitution, as long as I have a coefficient of 1 or negative 1, substitution is pretty easy to do. I move the negative y over to the right and the 4 over to the left. That gets me 2x staying where it's at. 4 moves left becomes negative. Negative y moves right becomes positive. I don't have to divide by anything, so um, y is equal to this nice non-fractional looking expression. And if I know that y is equal to this expression, 2x minus 4, I can put 2x minus 4 in place of the y in the top equation. So the top equation is 8x minus 4y, but instead of writing y, I'm going to write 2x minus 4, like so. Now if I go ahead and do a distributive property, simplify as much as possible, the substitution got y out of the problem leaving me with an x expression, right? So everything's x now. And if I distribute this negative 4 through the parentheses, that gets me 8x, negative 4 times 2x makes minus 8x, minus 4 minus 4 make plus 16 equals 16. And again, replacing y with this x expression got rid of y, so got y out of the picture. Um, by simplifying 8x minus 8x, x also cancels getting rid of x, leaving me with an expression that says 16 equals 16. All the variables disappeared, and the resulting expression is now either true or false, numerically true or false. 16 equals 16 is true. So as far as the type of um, system it is, it's a consistent dependent consistent. Again, if they ask you to identify what type of system it is, it's a consistent dependent system of equations. What we did back in algebra 2 when we saw the scenario is we wrote a, a big all real numbers and circled that and that was our final answer, right? Mm -hmm. okay, what I want you to do in this class is, uh, it's a little bit more challenging, but not much. I want you to create an ordered pair that represents the structure of correct answers. So there's an xy ordered pair, but there's infinity x's matched with infinity y's that have a specific structure. Okay, and the way you do this is real simple. You go with one of these two possibilities, either x equals c or y equals c. One or the other, not both. I'm going to do both because I'm teaching you how to do this. But you can go with either one. c representing a constant value. All right, so x equals any value c, so my ordered pair is going to be c comma something. If y equals c, my ordered pair is going to be something comma c. All right, and the reason I want to do both of these is just to show you how you can check your answers with the book. If you're doing an odd number problem, you want to check in the back of the book, you want to use the solutions manual, you get an answer, and they chose this path and you chose that path, and you don't want to rework the whole problem. I want to show you how you can verify your solution compared to theirs with yours and, and see that they're both correct. So, here's how it works. If I know x equals c and I'm trying to find out what y equals, I can go right here. y equals 2x minus 4, right? Mm -hmm. x equals c, so 2c minus 4 equals y, and just like that, there's my answer. Where c represents any number. So I can make a whole bunch of ordered pairs that make this true. Let me give you an example. I'll give you a couple examples. Tyler, pick a number. One. One. C is one. Two times one is two. Minus four is negative two. That's an ordered pair that lies on the intersection of these two lines. One line sits on top of the other. Um, Alex, pick another number. Five. If x equals five. Ten minus four is six. There's another ordered pair that lies on the um, overlapping lines that we're talking about. Uh, pick another number, Alyssa. Twelve. 12, 24 minus 4 is 20. There's another point of intersection. So that, that's the structure. You pick any number you want for C, and then 2 times that number minus 4 gets you the Y, and then all of a sudden you got these ordered pairs that are all correct, right? If I did the same thing for Y equals C, Y equals C, I go back to any of my equation. I can put C here, I can put C here, C here, take your pick where. I'm going to put C right here. So 2X minus C is equal to 4. Which means, therefore, 2x must equal c plus 4. You know, I want x equals and y equals. So I get more variables than normal in these problems, but you need to know what you want to find out. y equals c is one thing. I need to know what x equals. So when I get x and c in the problem, I want to get x by itself. Divide everything by 2, so I get c plus 4 over 2. So let's say you went through all this work and you did this problem, and you got this red answer, and the back of the book got this green answer. 
you want to verify that you're correct. It's real simple. You pick any value you want for C, and you get the ordered pair that matches yours. So again, you got this red answer, they got the green answer. You want to make sure the green answer is the same as your red answer, but of course they don't look the same, right? They look quite a bit different. Take one of these answers, it doesn't matter which one, I'm going to go with 5, 6. Nothing special about it, it's just the one I've just chosen to pick. Um, you only have to really do one. If you want to be really careful about it, pick two. But um, if one works, you're probably in good shape. If two works, you're definitely right. Okay? So here's how it works. We pick C equals 5 to get Y, so, which is X, to get us the Y value of 6, right? In this ordered pair, the Y value is C. And if we take the Y value in the ordered pair that we created from this structure, put it in place for C in this structure, we should get 5 for this number using this rule. Okay? So the second number here, 6, matches the second number here, C. So this is 6. If I put 6 right here, 6 plus 4 is 10 divided by 2 is 5, we get the right x value also. That means we're right. That would work with any one of these. If I took this one here, that's 20. It's made this 20 because, again, that's where our c is. So whatever this c is, find the matching object in the ordered pair. That's what c is. 20 plus 4 is 24 divided by 2 is 12. Makes the same ordered pair. That's all you have to do to verify. So if you get this answer, the book gets that answer. Don't rework the problem. Just verify that... Make an ordered pair, and then verify the same ordered pairs created with their system, and you're in good shape.